All right, welcome to State of the Game for the 29th of June. You, you, you look a little that's bit. 29th, actually. That's true. You look a little bit uncomfortable, Yannick. It's, it's, been, it's been a while since you've been I was, here. I was just uncomfortable, like trying to think, is that actually the date? But yes, that is the date. So <laughs> it is. Don't mind it me. It is the 29th. Don't mind me. It is. It is. Uh, all right, so we've been running around. I'm, I'm a little bit tight. We've been running around trying to get uh, this show together for you guys. We've got a lot to talk about today uh, because, and if you've been reading down there, PTS is starting tomorrow on Woo! PC. Yes. All right, we'll get anyway. We'll get we'll get to all the news because there's a lot to go through. There's a lot of details because PC is coming tomorrow. Console a little bit after. Details coming very very yes, soon. Yes. But we also have had a uh, a big sale on Steam recently. So there are a lot of new people in the community. Mm -hmm. I've been noticing people drop in. Um, so I think it's worth uh, just saying you know who we are because there's been a lot of uh, new people. So my name is Hamish. I'm a community developer here at Massive. Uh, if you're new here, welcome. And uh, I'm joined by another community developer, and this guy as well. That's me. Hello. I'm Yannick, and I'm the other community developer. Uh, Kevin, what does a live producer do? Hmm. <laughs> That's, That's a, a vast question. Yeah? Uh, live producer, we are, we are basically making sure that the game is uh, available for the players, looking, working with those beautiful people mm -hmm. uh, to make sure that we are looking at the issues there in the game, uh, trying to bring more quality, more content, and uh, yeah. All right. Uh, could you please turn up mic uh, two a little bit? Mic that'd two. Be, that'd Who's be great. Uh, oh, that's me. Yeah, that's you. Oh, yes. <laughs> Thank you. Right. Okay. Louder, Yannick. So we did have a maintenance yesterday, uh, 1.6.2, and people were like, "What the is?" What day is before yesterday was. Well, yeah, it was on Tuesday. Uh, what? Uh, what was that? Because people logged in, they're like, you know, there's an, there's an update I need to download. What was that? Uh, yeah, so I mean, like, the, the purpose of the update was to fix an issue we had with an invisibility glitch uh, mm -hmm. that would allow players to become invisible and then, you know, like shoot around other players, which is not cool. Mm -hmm. uh, I see that you're looking at my microphone. That's uh, fine. <laughs> <laughs> We're okay. Uh, but yeah, so there was a big question about the fact that the update was actually pretty big, like was two something... Two and a half gigs-ish. Gigabytes. Yeah. Uh, so there's a reason for that. Right, Kevin? Yeah. What's the big, reason? Big, big patch. Uh, so it's actually a really good uh, example of what live producer does. Yeah, uh, okay. So oh, cool. we, have a like chat a we have a chat with those guys. They tell us, hey, it's crazy, all those players going invisible in the game. So we have this kind of council of war. Okay, what do we do about it? We talk to different... Developers make sure that this issue is prioritized. We talk to the different uh, partners to make sure that we can have a patch out mm -hmm. as fast as possible. So that's why we call it an emergency patch. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, so in that case, why do we have a, such a big patch? Uh, it's because to fix this issue, we had some code, uh, code things to change. Code, uh, things. code nice. things, yeah, yeah. I'm, a, I'm a developer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, but we also had to revise some small parts of the maps so it will uh, prevent the players from glitching through. Okay. And uh, by changing the map, we have to regenerate the whole uh, area, which means that the players have to redownload the whole map. Yeah. Hence the, the whole map of the game. Yeah. yeah. Cool. All right, that makes sense. It's for the best. Yes. All right. Well, I'll, uh, I'll try and keep us moving along because we do. We have three cards to go through yeah, today, yeah, which, we is, have a lot. which is kind of a lot. There is a sale because America Fourth of July sale yes. is uh, is happening. When does that start? When when will uh, when will that sale start and finish? I actually don't know. All right, <laughs> Gabe. <laughs> I think so. It's someone <laughs> in the corner is saying today. Okay. Uh, but there's going to be a lot of items for sale at the premium vendor, uh, and there's a free outfit. Yeah. And a free emote. Wow. Okay. Uh, I wish I could show you those. I don't. I don't. I don't have those. <laughs> I wish I had more details <laughs> in my card no, right but, now. <laughs> but but there is an article yeah. that will be going up soon on the website. Peter's looking at me. Do you know when it's uh, coming, Peter? The article's coming. Sale is beginning on the fourth. Sale begins on the fourth. Yes. Ending on the ninth. Yeah. Free uh, costume on the fourth and the fifth. All right. Free costume on the fourth and the fifth. If you log in. If you log in. If you log in, you won't get it if you don't log in. Free emote between the fourth and the ninth. Free emote between the fourth and the ninth. What, what's if you're the, uh, what's if you log in. And the article will go live on Tuesday, Monday. On Monday, on article Monday. live on Monday, so you'll be able to find out more about that right there. And, and it'll have everything you need to know. You need to log in and go to the to the vendor to get it. Okay, free. yes. If you log in and don't go get it, then you won't get it. All right. Uh, but I think it's pretty cool. There, there's you know free stuff is always always great. Uh, yes. 
on to PTS things, because that's, in, that's the biggest thing that is happening right now in the division world. Yeah. Um, so 1.7 PTS starts tomorrow. Uh, the PC PTS will open at 10 our yes. time. 10, 10 CEST, uh, as we're in summer time now, mm -hmm. uh, which would be uh, 4 a.m. EST and 1 a.m. PST. OK. Um, so <laughs> I, I've, I've seen a lot of talk in, in chat, and rightly so. Uh, the console PTS is coming after that. Yep. Why? Yeah. So that's why I brought. <laughs> <laughs> he, no, he explained. He explained it to me. Like, but I think you know it's better if it actually directly comes no, from think, the guy who puts the shot on that. So right, how does that work? You needed a scapegoat. Exactly. <laughs> so Kevin, why? Why so, is it coming later on console? So the explanation is, as you know, uh, it takes a little bit more time to deploy patches on consoles in general. We yeah, are more that, that's the reason we haven't been able to do this in the past. In the past, right. and it's for technical reasons. So because of those uh, reasons, we, we decided to launch the PTS on PC first uh, to give you guys the weekend to play it and uh, report the major issues. Okay. Then we look at those on Monday, have this kind of Council of War thing, okay. uh, look at the big issues, fix them as soon as possible, prepare a patch, and then uh, ship it for, for console. So when console come uh, a little bit later, it will be in a better state. Okay. Uh, and it will allow us to not uh, be pressured into patching in emergency uh, the, okay. the PTS. That, that's good. I didn't actually know so, that. So in PTS language, basically, that would mean that console will directly start with PTS2. Yes, way. exactly, on the same yeah. waves. Mm. Yeah. Right. Exactly. Right. Great. Uh, that makes sense. Uh, so if I am a console player, because PC players have done this whole PTS thing before, we know that we go into Uplay and we download P the PTS thing. If I'm on console and I want to get involved in the PTS, how does that whole thing happen? On console. On console, <laughs> yes. So what we're doing is that we are looking uh, at the players that are the most engaged uh, with the game. So okay. all the players that have been active in the last months or so mm -hmm. uh, that are end-game players because that's the players we are uh, yeah. interested to get the feedback from because it's mainly end-game activities that we are proposing in okay. uh, the next patch. Um, so yeah, all those players that we selected, we receive an email uh, inviting them to sign up for the PTS. You will go on our website, confirm your platform, uh, confirm that you are in. You'll receive a new email with a key that you can read on your console, PlayStation or Xbox. And you will be able to download the game. Uh, there will be a short pre-download period. And then we'll launch uh, the PTS and you'll be able to access it. All right. How many console players will be will be be inviting to the PTS? So we currently have uh, the possibility to host up to ten thousand players okay. per platform. All right. So twenty thousand console players. Yes. yes. All right. Cool. That's a lot. Um, cool. All right. That is good. Uh, just to uh, just to like go back on the on the console uh, being released later. Just to make sure everybody understands. As you know, we like it is harder to deploy patches on console. That's what Kevin just uh, just kind of explained. If we were to deploy PTS one on console at the same time as PC, that would mean that console players would probably not get the PTS two patch, for example, because by the time at all, yeah. because by the time the the patch to deploy PTS two or that we would deploy on PTS two, by the time we have it, it would take us way longer to actually get it approved through the whole circle and everything mm -hmm. to actually put it on the PTS. So since we know that usually, historically, PTS1 is the most broken one, we thought we'd rather just like leave that one on PC so we can like get rid of the you know, most broken bugs mm -hmm. from PTS1 and start with a bit of a cleaner version with PTS2 on sure. console. Yeah, and let, let, let's be real about this. The PTS is for testing. Yeah. It's not, uh, while it is entertaining for people to play, and I love playing the PTS, that isn't why we do the PTS. We do the PTS so when we do the live release, we yep. have the best possible yep. product. Yep. For example, if we were to, uh, you know, push the PC PTS so it lined up with consoles, that wouldn't help us. No. While it might be case. nicer for the community to jump on all at the same time, um, it doesn't actually help us. When we can get more testing sooner for yep. a better result for the live yep. game. It will give us uh, feedback later and less time to address exactly. it. Exactly. Uh, so, just let, let's understand that this is a, a testing. Yeah. Kind of thing. Yeah. Okay, so if we want if we want the best possible result, you gotta you gotta you know go along with this. I understand why 
it might be a little bit, uh, you know, like, oh man, PC, get it, get it sooner. Um, but it's better for the game in the long run, so. Uh, and Forgotten King, just to answer to your question, no, the 10K is only for console players, like 10K on mm -hmm. PS4, 10K on Xbox. PC doesn't change. PC is accessible to all PC players. Mm -hmm. uh, before we move on, the two biggest questions I've seen are, when will the invites go out on console and how are people selected? So, we are still in the process of uh, finishing the, the build. So, we'll, we look on Monday again, what kind of issue we want to address before launching on console. As soon as we have a clear plan for when we are ready with this patch, we'll shoot uh, the invitation and prepare for the, for the launch. So, sometimes next week, I would assume. On the invitations, yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. But again, that's going to be one of those things. During these PTS type periods, it's, uh, it's always good to keep an eye on Twitter and the forums and yeah. uh, the stream, although yeah. I'm not here next week. But I'll make sure that there are some people streaming. Yeah. So we, when we do have news, uh, you will get that as soon as possible. Yeah. Uh, because it is going to be one of those day-to-day -day type things. Uh, okay. We can talk about the content of the PTS because there is some cool stuff. We, when Yannick was away, we went through uh, yes. a few things. It's changed because I was in here by myself for three weeks, and now there are five people in this room, and I don't know what to do with it. It's kind of <laughs> weird. Uh, but we've uh, gone through commendations. We've gone through classified gear sets, and the first thing that I can't remember now. Global events. Global, global events. events. <laughs> that's kind of important. That's being. Uh, but <laughs> global events will not be on the first week of the PTS uh, mm -hmm. because we're testing some other things. Um, but we are going to be testing two of them. Uh, so people have seen an example that we gave, and there's going to be a different one. I don't know exactly which one, but you'll be able to test that on the PTS, which will be cool. Do you know what the other global event is? No, I haven't seen what the other one is. Okay. Kevin, right? Um, yeah. If I'm not mistaken, it's the Assault uh, global event. Oh, yeah. That is about... Uh, close range? Yeah, oh, okay. dealing with close range, uh, long range yeah. okay. encounters. Cool. Classified gear will also not be in the first week. Um, and when they are on there, you will likely be able to purchase caches at the special equipment vendor. Yeah, I think customers. it's still being, uh, being discussed Maybe. how they are going to be uh, awarded on the PTS. Exactly. So. It's because the uh, global event won't be available for the first week, which concerns only the PC, because when we launch on console, it will be available to everyone yeah. <laughs> uh, from the start. Uh, because there's no global event, w which is supposed to reward you with uh, those classified gear sets, yeah. we are considering the option of uh, selling those so you can test it, do some theory crafting around it, try it out. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, do you want to take uh, the next few things? What else we got here? Yes. So what we will have on the PTS that will be available directly when we open is commendations. Uh, cool. So commendations will be available. So if you remember, commendations is uh, the system where you basically grind your commendation passively by doing things like killing enemies or whatever. And then when you complete them, you get rewards for it. Um, so this system will be available on the PTS from day one. Uh, but there are a few tweaks that we actually have made to the commendations okay. just for the purpose of the PTS. Uh, and also a few things that you should know because the feature is not you know, completely finished yet. Uh, that is a PTS after all. So first you should know that, uh, and I wrote all of that down here, but first, uh, because one of the main rewards that you get from commendations are patches. Right. right. So it's the patches that you can, it's a vanity slot, a new mm -hmm. vanity slot that you can put on your agent, on the arm of your agent. Um, and, but not all of them will be implemented on the PTS, uh, at least in the first build. So what that means is that when you're going to test commendations on the PTS, you will sometimes get duplicate patches or sometimes okay. not get patches at all or get random stuff. So this is not finalized yet. So don't worry about it. This will be fixed for the main game, okay. but just know that here it's going to be likely that you get, you know, the same patches uh, over again. Okay. The other thing is that uh, not all commendations are actually uh, available in the build that will be available that will be uh, put on day one on PTS one. Okay. So you're just going to get about I can't remember what's the percentage a bit over like half of the commendations that you're actually going to get when the the update comes out for good. So don't, don't look at this number and consider it to be the final number. There will be more commendations that will be added when the update goes, uh, goes live. Also, and one thing that, so that one might be a bit more tricky. So some commendations are based on perks. Like for example, killing enemies, you know, you will have perk one, which is like, uh, or tier one basically, which will be like kill 10,000 cleaners. Tier two will be kill 20,000. Tier three, kill 50,000. For example, maybe. For yeah, example yeah, yeah. I don't know what the values are, but yeah. this is just an example. 
Normally, you would get the patch when you complete the final tier mm -hmm. of this, which would be like tier seven, kill, you know, 200,000. Mm -hmm. Uh, but here, since we're on a PTS and we don't expect you to kill that many in just a like, limited sure. span for the PTS, we actually change the rewards so the patches will be awarded when you complete tier one. So the first tier of the commendation will give you the patch on the PTS, okay. but when it actually goes live in the update, you will not get the patch on the first tier, you will get it on the last tier. So it's just to set your expectations between PTS and what's actually go out on the live uh, game. Very cool. um, so that overall, sense. what that means is that uh, commendations are going to be a bit easier to grind on the PTS, which is the purpose. That's what we want, because we want people to be able to test them quickly, and especially test the, you know, the reward menu with the, the patches and test you know, the patches and all of that. Uh, but just bear in mind that it's going to take longer to actually get these rewards when you play on the live game. Cool. Perfect. All right. Uh, Perfect. So, How I mean, did I do? <laughs> no, it's good. I, I, one, of the, one of the things that I, I'm really excited to see is what people think of the, the commendation system as a whole, even though this is a very pared down version of it, um, so we can actually test how it mm -hmm. works. Yeah. Uh, I, think, I think it's going to be cool. Uh, the next thing is, is something that I want to actually show. That's why we have someone sitting in the corner who can actually show us yes. some gameplay. Wait, uh, so we'll do the, um, the customization stuff after. But if we can, which is kind of a little spoiler, but uh, can we go and have a look at the vendor uh, over in the corner? Yes. Because there's a new feature tied to it's vanity items in 1.7 that we haven't shown yet. Yes. Uh, do you want to explain this one, Kevin? This is, yeah, sure. this is why so, we have you here. So uh, that's what we call the encrypted caches. So the idea is that you can buy those encrypted caches uh, using keys to unlock them. You can get That's keys to through company, gameplay, so you. some rewards uh, from caches from the global event, some through the commendation, and use those keys to open those caches Let's and get uh, three items, uh, vanity items. So you can get a piece of outfit, weapon skin, backpack skin, and emotes. Yeah. Okay, cool. So this is only vanity stuff? This is only vanity stuff, Because Because yeah. with uh, premium credits, you can buy the... Um, the encrypted key things. Yeah. I can't remember what the actual name is for them. Um, so you know, if you want to buy some vanity yeah. stuff, you can you can do it that way. And there's stuff that's unique to those encrypted caches that you can only get in the caches. So you have stuff that you can buy in the vendor. Mm -hmm. You have completely exclusive uh, new uh, vanity yeah. items. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, cool. So a lot of new uh, customization option, cool. basically. But yeah. if you don't want to spend any money, like, uh, and I mm. like not spending money because that's always yeah. nice. Uh, you, but you can get the key fragments from doing in-game yeah. things. So you, yeah. you can yeah. spend no money and still have access to that. Yeah. We are still looking at uh, places where we can reward uh, those keys. Uh, mm -hmm. But uh, obviously, we want to make it easier for the players to access all those customization options. Yeah. Cool. Uh, all right, so that's, that's one of the things. That's um, one of the things. <laughs> do you want to do the next one? All right. I mean, because I, I don't, I'll, I'll let you do this one, because I think this is cool. What, the last one? Uh, no, no, the, the next one after encrypted caches. The one in the middle? Mm. This one? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm not touching that one. You're not touching that no. one? <laughs> All right. Uh, no, so there is another thing uh, that is coming in update 1.7 that we haven't talked about yet. It's yet another vanity slot. Not, not just the patch slot. Not, the, not just the patch slot. Yeah. So we mentioned another patch, or we mentioned the slot for the patches that would be for commendations. Uh, we have another vanity slot that is coming with update one update 1.7. I wish we had a prop. <laughs> I wish we had a prop. <laughs> Damn. Which is actually face mask. Yes! Yes. So face masks are coming uh, with update 1.7. They will not be on the PTS. And the reason why is because we want to give that as a bit of a surprise. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so we don't really need to test those. But you will, see, you will see that in the UI already and everything. You will see the slot for face mask. Uh, they are gameplay rewards, so you will uh, get to get them with global events or these kind of things. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, we don't have them, we can't show them because we have the PTS build, and as I said, they are not available there. And no. again, that's going to be a surprise, but this is coming. But there will be some cool face masks for yeah. people to yes. see very soon. They look awesome. Uh, there's, there's some really cool ones. Uh, again, that's, that's one of those not gameplay things, so we don't really need to test yes. those, but we want to make sure. Yep. that uh, we have some more cool things for people. Uh, exactly. Those will be tied to global events, correct? Yes. Uh, so if you're involved in, you know, and, and dedicated to global events, you'll be able to access some really cool yep. stuff. Um, so, mm, 
uh, like a chat saying, someone said, I wanted a mask for so long, finally. I agree. There's some really, really cool options uh, <laughs> for face masks. Yes. Um, but <laughs> There's one of the things that people have been wanting for a long time, There's myself more. included, Gabe included, I know because he, uh, he made some mistakes day one. Uh, can, we, can, we sw <laughs> can we switch over to, to one of the things that's coming very soon? Right, so, uh, I... can we walk down the stairs? Uh, no, no, go, go, go back up to the booth so people know where you're coming from. Tonight we have yeah. a special treat at yeah, the commissary. So there's a, there is another gate that has opened up in the terminal. So if you turn right, you, uh, you're you going to find something that? a little bit new, which is very cool. A bathroom. A bathroom. You can now what, use the toilet. What can you do in <laughs> no. a bathroom? It's not even a bathroom, actually. <laughs> no. City of the year. There's some other things. Look at that. There's an interact button here. Yes, that's very cool. Because this is, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, wow. This is one hell of an <laughs> ugly character there. <laughs> burn it. Burn it. Burn it. Burn it. Please. All right. So one of the things that people have been asking for for a long time is, uh, I thought you'd be able to take off your glasses in-game, and I regret everything. Uh, not a problem anymore. <laughs> not a problem Because you'll be anymore. able to change things up. You won't be able to change your gender, because that um, is not one of the things we have. We want, we want people to retain some of their agent. Yes. Right? Uh, so, no sex changes in the bathrooms, um, but you will be able to change everything else, right? <laughs> what? No, it's, it's Well, the thing is, one of the things with Don't the division... Don't take this out of context, no, no, though. No, you can see the eyes. That's awesome. One of the things that uh, the division tries to do is maintain some semblance of reality. Yes. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And if, uh, if you could just, you know, change gender in the bathroom, that'd, that'd be strange. Um, but anyway, but, so you... But you can do your hair and you can, well, tattoo removal and that sort of thing. Tattoo removal, <laughs> scars <laughs> removal, sunglasses removal, or addition, or whatever. These are all the options that were available at the character creation. We have not added new options that I know of. No. I look, I look at you. No, no, no. In, the, no. in the customization, no. No, no. So it's, it's all the, the options that were available when, we, uh, when you created your character. But yes, now you can go back anytime. It doesn't cost anything. Uh, I mean, even in game, there is no like, uh, you know, uh, currency that you need to spend or whatever. You can just go there whenever you want and change all the options on your face. Yes. That's it. And your neck. If you've got one neck. of those neck tattoos that neck. you regret. I'm still convincing Yannick to come with me IRL and get a neck tattoo, but it's not, it's not happening. One day. One day. Not committing to it? No? Just ignoring? All right. <laughs> I was not listening, and I somehow, I think... I'm going to take that as a confirmation. Yannick's going to show up on, on like the next set of the game with a huge phoenix tattoo on his neck. It's going to be awesome. Oh, yeah, totally. Nuts. Yes. Wow. Is that a girl <laughs> or boy bathroom? It's unisex. There you go. That's cool. It's... We're all agents of the division, so... Exactly. You know. uh, all right. Uh, we have uh, a few more, few more minutes to hang out and answer some questions. One of the things that I've seen pop up, because we're coming to uh, the end of our informational section of the state of the game, yeah. is uh, how will we be, de be deciding who gets on the console PTS, if you missed that. While we did say uh, we have 10,000 invites for both platforms, likely, um, how will we be deciding who gets an invite? So on PC, everybody who owns the game can access the PTS, right. as before. Yep. Uh, for console, for each platform, we selected uh, active players. So if you played last month, you're in the pool, and then all the players who reached level 30, so mm -hmm. all end game players. Uh, and we'll take all of those by uh, playtime. The more you played, the more uh, lucky you'll get to get, uh, to get a key. Uh, right. Just to answer a question, sorry I didn't catch your name. Somebody asking for the face customization, which update is that coming with? That's 1.7. It's going to be in the PTS tomorrow. 7. Yes. Uh, yeah, you'll be able to you know, check out all that sort of stuff tomorrow on the PTS. Uh, so yeah, again, PC will be there tomorrow. So you can, you can check back in and uh, I'll be, well, I guess I'll be playing that tomorrow morning. I saw some questions about... Wait, can I play tomorrow morning? Right, 10, 10 a.m. tomorrow. 10 a.m., yeah. All right, so I'll, uh, I'll try and uh, jump on the PTS tomorrow. I saw a question about uh, pre-download. So on PC, you can't pre-download because as soon as it's ready for pre-download, we're actually releasing it. Mm. So pre-download will be just delaying the actual release. Uh, for console, you'll be able to pre-download. But then you'll have to, when we launch, uh, download the patch. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
somebody was asking for patch notes, Peter. Patch notes, is it tomorrow? Tomorrow, yeah. tomorrow morning. So when we, open, when we open the PTS, we'll be publishing the patch notes roughly around that time. Great. All right, maybe I'll uh, go through. How long are the patch notes? Can I, can I read them? Read them to chat tomorrow morning? <laughs> All right, we keep, we'll, sure. we'll hang out and we'll do coffee and patch notes in the morning. That'll, uh, that'll be fun. Okay, um, there's a couple of things that I want to go through before we run off. And one of them I think is pretty cool because games are fun and gaming communities are cool. So one of the things that's happening right now is Guardian Con. Mm -hmm. Look, we're not a Destiny channel. We're but, not that game. But we aren't that game, but we love what they do. And they do, they've done an amazing job raising a bunch of money for St. Jude's Children's Hospital yeah. in the States. Um, so if you haven't seen it, they've, they've cracked the million goal. Those guys are awesome. So Dark Zone Report, one of our uh, community groups, decided to do a, an Agents Supporting Guardians stream. Which I think is awesome. I'm so excited about this. I think it's really, really cool yeah. uh, that you know people who like games do really positive things. So I'm going to be joining them tomorrow during the 24-hour stream. I'll be streaming for three hours. So I'm going to look at that. I think uh, 1 p.m. So in about 20 hours, I'm going to be doing that. Uh, Matt's also going to be doing yeah. some streaming. Uh, Bud is going to be doing some. Ryan K, Denti, Tinks, Remy, Cal, King Macho are all going to be streaming. So I think it's awesome. That's awesome. Go to twitch.tv slash darkzonereport and, uh, and, and, and check that because I think it's cool. And I, I would love for us to show up and, uh, and show our support for what I think is a great, great cause. So. Yeah, it's super cool. Yes. Anyway, uh, so if you aren't following Dark Zone Report, go do that right now. Uh, if any of the mods in chat can, uh, can spam some links um, so people can go and follow that, that'd be great. Yes, people are doing things tomorrow, doing and it's going to be great. Yes, then to you. <laughs> All right, so before we head off, can we just do a quick yeah. PTS recap? Let's do a very quick recap. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> <laughs> I need to start from the beginning. Too bad. Um, all right, so quick PTS recap. Uh, PTS starting on PC tomorrow morning, 10 a.m. our time, so that is in... Why am I doing this to myself right now? Uh, <laughs> six and a half. That's in 16 and a half hours. Wow. Good math. Whoa, boom. Hopefully. Um, Captain hopefully. Exponential over here. Uh, PTS, well, opening, PTS opening tomorrow on PC. PTS on console will be happening for 1.7, but not tomorrow. It will take a bit more time to open it, as we explained. Uh, so we are looking at sending the invites for PTS on console next week and then opening a few days after that, depending on uh, how long it's going to take for us to address the main issues before we open it there. Uh, PTS on console will be uh, on invites. So we will be sending invites to players based on their activity in the past 30 days and their total play time, uh, like to date, since the launch of the game. So the people that have played the most and been the most active on console uh, will receive an invite. We are talking about 10,000 players on Xbox One, 10,000 players on PS4 that mm -hmm. will uh, be receiving an invite. So uh, keep an eye on your emails. Um, so those emails, will they be sent to the email address that is listed for their console account, like Xbox Live and, and PSN? Those yeah. emails, or are they Uplay? Uplay account. Okay, cool. So Some if you have multiple email addresses, make sure that you check the one that is associated with your Uplay account. Yeah. All right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cool. Um, so then, uh, what do I have? So, con so the content on the PTS, I'm lost in my notes. Did you see the 10K players on Switch? Yeah. Thing? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the division, is, <laughs> the division is not on Switch, unfortunately. <laughs> All those Elder Hard modes Would be tomorrow, great, so though. Exactly Would be myself. great. Uh, so what's going to be on the PTS? So for PTS 1 starting tomorrow, so we will not have a global event. Uh, the global event will start probably for PTS 2. Um, we will not have classified gear either. These are mm -hmm. things that we're saving for later. We will have the commendation feature. Uh, it will be available on the PTS. And we have the new things that are available that we've just shown, which are encrypted caches. Uh, and that's a system where you can get keys and open them, open these caches at the premium vendor, and you get some special vanity. 
Um, we have a uh, mask, but mask will not be on the PTS. And the face customization feature of that we have just shown now. Yay. Go nuts. All right, that's, <laughs> it. that's a lot. Go nuts. <laughs> Go nuts. Just like remove your glasses. Be, exactly. Be ugly and proud of it. <laughs> yes. But, but you can also, like, if you haven't worn glasses before, you can put them on. Yeah. So we, we talk about taking them off, but if yeah. you want to like... There's no consequences anymore now. There you go. Right? <laughs> yes, exactly. So that, that's going to be it for today. Although I will leave you with a question because I saw in chat someone was like, do we get a Yannick face mask? <laughs> I vote no because I think that's straight nightmare fuel. Uh, but as, as beautiful as your face is, I think it will be scary in game. That would be weird. <laughs> but you can get a beard if you don't have one now. Oh, sure. You can the man has a, a point. There you go. The man has a point. Show you support to uh, Yannick. You can get a beard now. <laughs> get a beard. Or you can shave it and have another one brand, brand new the day after that. Yeah. Somebody asked me if I could speak with less French accent. Uh, no. <laughs> but you can speak with more French accent. <laughs> I can speak with more French accent. Uh, you, you get want. used to it. <laughs> uh, I Pro people probably didn't. People always show up and they're That's like... That's kind of a superpower. I don't understand <laughs> these guys. We can, we can finish the stream uh, with a guys, very strong please. French accent, huh, uh, Kevin? Everybody's quitting now. Look at oh, this. Yeah, I, I'm about to quit too. <laughs> guys, guys, we're getting too baguette on this, on this stream. <laughs> we're getting too baguette? Just too vinyl, bring, you mean? Bring it down. I think right. I hear your French accent. Though. No, you don't want to hear it. Uh, no, it's right. too bad because people were happy about the state of the game last week, saying, yeah, it was good, straight to the point, no I weird know. silences, guys, no <laughs> weird jokes. You guys, we're back. You guys come in, fuck everything up. I'm trying, guys, I promise. But, all right, that's it for today. All right. Anyway, if you missed anything, past broadcasts. Also, go sign up for the podcast, soundcloud.com slash The Division Game, or find it on iTunes, The Division Podcast. Um, that makes me happy because sometimes I like to tell people, hey, I did a thing, uh, it's called a podcast, and then uh, you should keep me here and let me have a job still. So please go listen to the podcast. Oh, deep. All right, got super deep. we'll see you tomorrow. PTS is happening. All right. Have a great weekend, and we'll see you soon. See you guys. Yeah, guys.